Hi, my name is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go over some of the highlights in my YouTube channel and what the purpose of the channel is for is to document by video the discoveries I've made related to healing the body. So I've been studying nutrition and hardcore holistic healthcare since 1994. And um, some, here's some of the highlights. I'm going to start with number one here. Dr. Wilder's formula for macronutrients. A lot of the information I have is from old books. A lot of good nutrition science was done in the 1920s and 30s and 40s. So in 1924, this guy named Dr. Wilder was studying ketosis to help epileptic kids. And he came up with a formula of fat versus protein plus carbs. Fat uh, provides for ketone formation in the blood and then protein and carbs suppress ketone formation and they keep the blood glucose up. I have a lot of videos on this, and so you can fully understand that more by watching those videos. But when you understand this, then you can see why some current diet studies or feeding studies are misinterpreted or the conclusion is incorrect because the author is not, or the interpreter is not looking at, um, or they do not know this equation. So once you can work with this equation, a lot of things start to make sense. Okay, now this is currently taught by the Charlie Foundation. That's a group that was created in the 1990s to teach uh, parents of epileptic children how to get them into ketosis. Okay, so number two is finding lactic acidosis. That's the mechanism of chronic disease. It's basically dirty blood that first affects muscles. So fibromyalgia, muscle cramping, muscle weakness, aches, heart flutters, heart problems. And then it affects the other organs like the thyroid brain, adrenals, people get adrenal fatigue. Well, there's actually something before that. So that's lactic acidosis. Now, I have a few studies here I just want to go over quickly. I found these recently, and they speak volumes on how important lactic acidosis is. So there's a study done in 2015. It demonstrated that hip fracture patients that enter the hospital with high lactate, or they have lactic acidosis, on arrival have four times the 30-day mortality as those with normal lactate. So that just means that the more poison their body is, the more likely they're going to die in the hospital from a hip fracture. Another study was done in 2000, and there were people who had trauma that entered the hospital, and at the 12-hour mark, once they entered the hospital 12 hours later, if they had high lactate in their blood, they had six times the mortality and four times the infection rates as the other people who normalize their lactate within 12 hours of being in the hospital. It goes on to say that studies that simply lower the lactate, for example, there's a drug called DCA, or maybe even baking soda just lowers lactate, but it doesn't actually fix the problem. So just lowering the lactate does not change the poor prognosis of these patients. So how do you actually fix and lower the lactate um, and actually do it right? You gotta make sure the organs are working well. And there are three causes of chronic disease, primarily infection, toxins, and then excessive sugar metabolism. And then you got the mechanism, lactic acidosis. There's another minor mechanism that I find sometimes. And then you have organ dysfunction caused by all these things. And when the organs start to fail, they give you hundreds or thousands of symptoms. And then doctors look at these symptoms and they give you a label based on the symptoms rather than giving you a diagnosis of, of, of a cause and then the mechanism. So that's what holistic, holistic healthcare is all about, is getting the cause and the mechanism and then feeding the organs correctly to alleviate the symptoms by getting the organs to work better. Okay, now back to lactic acidosis. One thing I'm super happy to have found was that both ketosis and veganism fix lactic acidosis. They seem completely opposite. Whereas veganism, the carbohydrate intake is really high and then the fat, and then the fat con intake is really low. Whereas ketosis is the total opposite of that, but yet they still work physiologically to fix lactic acidosis. And that's why there's this constant back and forth between the two camps, if you will, the two uh, ways of thinking, is that they're both addressing lactic acidosis. So when I found that, it's like, oh, now I understand where everybody's coming from because I understand the physiology. Uh, speaking of physiology, 
I learned the difference between normal and disease cell function that has to do with um, the mitochondria in the cells. Mitochondria are the little organelles inside cells that make energy. There's 2,000 or 3,000 mitochondria per cell. And um, the question is, what are the cells using for fuel? What are the mitochondria using for fuel? Are they using sugar or are they using fat? Well, the truth is they should be using one or the other easily and adapting to go from one fuel to the next. Like a hybrid car goes from electric to gas, the cells should go from sugar to fat easily. Now, I mean, most people in the United States are just burning sugar every day for the rest of their life, and then they get a heart attack or they get diabetes or cancer. It's because they never once got into ketosis. They never once burned fat. So this has been um, extremely important to know the physiology. Now, I did a video recently on heart cancer, and chances are you have not heard of that term because it's so rare that the heart gets a malignant cancer uh, neoplasm, and it's because of this whole concept of are the, can the heart cells actually uh, adapt from uh, burning sugar to burning fat, and then when they're diseased, they go into lactic acidosis. Just watch the video, you understand how it goes. It's very interesting. All right, learning the physiology has been one of the most important things. I mean, chiropractor, I'm a chiropractor. Chiropractors get more physiology and anatomy than medical uh, students in school um, by a factor of 55%. So this is the basis of your health. And you have to follow the physiology from disease back to health. So the physiology will be normal and then it'll spiral downwards and get worse and worse and worse. And we know how that happens. It's very much related to lactic acidosis and the lack of ketosis and then toxins, etc. So you just reverse engineer it to bring it back up and it's, we know how to do it. It actually was well known in the 1930s, but a lot of that great information from back then was lost. So number five, um, seeing the difference and knowing the difference clinically between chemical vitamins and whole food, functional, dynamic, large vitamin complexes. So whole food vitamins do a lot more work than the chemicals. And uh, I got plenty of, of uh, videos on that. You just want to get your uh, vitamins from whole food supplements and whole food nutrition rather than a chemical factory. Okay, so I have some uh, links below. And uh, one thing I get a lot of uh, on the YouTube comments is I don't have research to back up what I say. Well, I got two statements regarding that. I did make a video and I showed a bunch of old books that I like to read. Just because information is old doesn't mean it's false. Like for example, I just picked up this book right here and this and another book, they're both uh, companion books. They were published in 1966 and 1972. And I wanna give from this book one, um, research study that they feature and it, it has to do with anxiety and there was a small group of uh, control and then another group of patients that had anxiety and out of 14 what they did is they injected lactate into their blood and in the in 14 people with anxiety 13 of them had an anxiety attack within a minute or two so that tells you that anxiety is not a mental issue it's physiological now in the control group two out of the 10 people were injected with excess lactate and only two had an anxiety attack. Well, I can predict that two, those two people were actually probably more chronically sick than the other eight because it's a whole body problem to be susceptible to the symptoms that arise from too much lactate and waste and dirt, dirt, if you will, in your blood. So anyways, I just wanna say that I study a lot of old books and have a video called Not Making Things Up. Okay, now here's links below regarding ketosis. So again, I get people saying there's no studies to verify that ketosis is good and all this stuff. Well, okay, there's tons of it. Just use Google, just like I did. And there's PubMed, you can, that's free for everybody. Okay, so there's one link down below. It's 27 studies. It's actually um, on the Keto Pet Sanctuary website. These are people that take any dog in any condition um, who have cancer or chronic illness, they put them on a ketogenic diet and they use hyperbaric oxygen therapy and they have a 55% success rate 
of bringing that dog back to health, the reverse engineering, uh, the lactic acidosis. Okay, another link has 77 studies that include 6,786 participants regarding ketosis. And another link has over 200 studies. So there's a lot of studies on ketosis. Now there was a big void for many decades on ketogenic research. And it was because back in the 1940s, pharmaceutical companies made drugs that did a pretty good job of preventing and stopping epilepsy. So um, in the early 1970s, the research on ketosis just started to come back with the with Dr. Atkins, and then in the 1990s, yes, the Charlie Foundation was formed then, and uh, it's like in the last 10 years or so, the research has been fantastic. So speaking of research, let me just list off some of my favorites. Dr. Poff, Dr. Seyfried, um, Dr. Finney, Dr. Volek, Dr. D'Agostino, and then we have uh, doctors who are clinicians, and then they study it and they apply it in their own office, and then they teach it. Dr. Berg, Dr. Pompa, Dr. Klum, we also have Dr. Fekhi and Niemans and then a, an engineer named Ivor Cummins. And there's a series of lectures called Low Carb USA. And they do it in different locations. There's Low Carb Breckenridge, Low Carb Down Under. Ketosis is pretty popular in Australia. And so you can watch all these series of low carb seminars on YouTube. They're fantastic. So one thing that all these people have in common is they know the physiology. They, they understand what happens with triglycerides and why triglycerides go down first in ketosis, as an example. So, and they know why some people's LDL goes skyrocketing high in ketosis. It's, it's kind of rare, it's genetic, but they know how to fix it. It's a, it's a carnitine deficiency, usually. Okay, so just the point is, knowing the physiology comes first, and then you can interpret a lot of other like uh, diet studies second, and have great understanding once you but you got to know the the physiology okay so there's my short introduction on some of the greatest hits on my youtube channel i got playlists so i encourage you just go click on the playlist button or click on videos and go by most popular you can go by um newest added or oldest added and just just start searching through the titles and see what you're interested in and start watching so Originally, I wanted this YouTube channel to have individual videos that could stand alone and you get everything you need in each video and it doesn't work that way. It turns out that you got to like watch a bunch of videos all together to get a thorough understanding on how the body's working and then uh, the more you know, the better off you are. So thanks for watching this and enjoy watching my videos and I'll see you at the next one.